I just wanted to take a minute and share one of my passions with you. You've all heard the stories about my brother Billy. As I said before, he's had an influence on my life that has been a huge gift, and I didn't always see it as that. Sometimes the things that happen in our life that we don't see as gifts, in the end, turn around and help us discover just how much of a gift they are. Because of Billy being in my life and being a speaker, I decided to get involved with an organization called Best Buddies, Best Buddies of Arizona. They help developmentally challenged kids and people transition into life. If you have kids in high school, there might be a Best Buddies program at your school. And they get buddies, and so they can adapt to life a little bit easier. I started working as a speech coach with them, and I got so inspired about the organization that after I wrote the book, about being enough, I made a decision that I were going to take the proceeds and give it to Best Buddies because it's just a passion of mine and it's a way of giving back. They have given me so much more than I will ever give them. But here's the invitation. Maybe you have a Billy in your life. You know, when we were doing the pre-conference call, I was talking with Mary, and not in the call, but after the call, Mary Dykstra sent me an email, and she said, I have a brother, Billy. Literally, his name is Billy. <laughs> and she said that there was a point in time where she went and took out the school bully for picking on her brother. Now, when Mary says she took him out, she took him out. I envisioned this guy on a therapist's couch today going, I don't know what happened. She came out from nowhere, and before I knew it, I was laying on the ground. <laughs> Maybe you have a Billy in your life. If you do, and you love the idea of the organization, you can order a, a copy of the book at untililovedme.com, and if you order it, and in the memo you put NAPO, I will autograph the book for you.